The CPA designation is really uh, a launch pad, I think unequaled, for, for a young person's career. Whether the person wants to do accounting and auditing, uh, consulting, go to med school, whatever it is they want to do, the, the instant credibility that comes with having the, the initial CPA after your name um, is, is instant. Before his recent retirement, Paul Hickey served as an audit partner, a corporate finance partner, a management consulting partner, and a restructuring partner over his 38-year career at EY. Paul moved from Outer Cove to Labrador City at the age of three, where he remained until he finished high school. He holds a Bachelor of Commerce degree from Memorial University of Newfoundland and obtained his accounting designation in 1983 after articling with Clarkson Gordon, now EY. I worked with EY in St. John's from 1981 until 1987 when I was encouraged to move to Halifax. But I wouldn't go without a guarantee to come back. And they said they didn't give the guarantees, so I said I'm not going. So they gave, they gave the guarantee and I went. But I stayed five years and I made partner after three years there. It was probably the best move I made in my career, but the most enjoyable one was coming home in 1992. From his early days at EY, Paul was comforted by the hallmarks of the CPA profession. Integrity, ethics, honesty, uh, giving back to the community, professional competence, things like that. And when I, when I learned about that and I saw how it was expected and required uh, to, to follow the hallmarks, it gave me great comfort. In 1993, Paul obtained his Chartered Insolvency and Restructuring Professional designation and became a licensed insolvency trustee. Shortly thereafter, he also obtained the Certified Fraud Examiner designation. Paul's experience spanned many professional service lines, industries, and types of engagements. Throughout his career, Paul handled many significant insolvency files in Newfoundland and Labrador, Prince Edward Island, and New Brunswick and was a trusted strategic advisor for both insolvency and non-insolvency services to provincial governments throughout Atlantic Canada. In 2006, Paul was invited to become a member of the Insolvency Institute of Canada, Canada's premier private sector insolvency organization dedicated to the recognition and promotion of excellence in the field of insolvency. In addition to his strategic involvement with various provincial governments, chartered banks and private sector clients, Paul has also been publicly recognized for meritorious service to the Roman Catholic Church. In 2009, the Vatican bestowed upon Paul one of the highest honors that it can award to a member of the public. Paul was knighted by the Vatican and bestowed the title of Knight Commander with Star of the Pontifical Equestrian Order of St. Gregory the Great, an honor that comes complete with sword, uniform, and medals. At the outset of his career as a CPA, Paul learned the importance of giving back to the profession and to his community and has been very actively involved in charitable and not-for-profit activities. In the 1990s, Paul served as a member of the then CICA Investigative and Forensic Accounting Interest Group and the Newfoundland and Labrador and the Canadian Associations of Insolvency and Restructuring Professionals. In addition, from 2006 until his retirement, Paul served on a number of committees with the Insolvency Institute of Canada. Paul has been a volunteer from time to time with the Liberal Party of Newfoundland since 1981. He served as Director of Ducks Unlimited Canada and on several board committees including a term as Chair on the Governance Committee. Paul has also been involved with the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador Association of Technology Industries, Fieldian Athletic Grounds Association, and the Advisory Committee on Judicial Appointments for Newfoundland and Labrador. I've always admired the fact that he works so well with other professionals, very respectfully, and that includes not only other professionals on the other side, on the client, when working with his client, but I've seen him do just a great job with his own team. He's a great mentor, he's very supportive, and I think that's really important, certainly from a professional perspective and from the fellowship designation, you know, the quality, the integrity, the, you know, the focus, the delivery, but giving back to the profession, I've seen him do it many, many times with his team. He's always trying to add and build 
to the quality of the individuals that are on his team. Paul is married to Nancy, who is also a CPA, and they have three wonderful children, David, Carolyn, and Jack. Paul and Nancy live in Outer Cove in Paul's family homestead, which has been in the Hickey family for 102 years. They were awarded a Southcott Award for the renovations to the original house in 2014. Paul is enjoying his retirement while pursuing outdoor interests such as hunting, fly fishing, cod fishing, boating, snowmobiling, and hiking. When I think about receiving the FCPA honor, and when I think about the individuals who have received the honor in previous years and over the years, I can only feel proud to be included in, uh, on a list of uh, such fine individuals. Ladies and gentlemen, our new fellow, Mr. Paul Hickey.